It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking probability and how it relates to likelihood. We're going to talk about unlikely events, neither unlikely nor likely events, and likely events. Here's our question today. A teacher recorded some data about the students in her class. The probability of a randomly selected student having a pet is 80%. The probability of a randomly selected student having short hair is 65 hundredths. The probability of a randomly selected student having no siblings is 21%. The probability of a randomly selected student having a cell phone is 5 tenths. A student from the class is selected at random. Determine the likelihood of each statement about the student. So we're given four statements right here to the right about the students, and we are asked to drag and drop each of these events into one of these three boxes to determine whether its probability is unlikely to happen, likely to happen, or neither unlikely nor likely to happen. Here's where you're going to pause the video and determine where each of these four events would fall in one of these categories. Record your answers and then come back to hit play to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. Again, let's review that we're going to drag and drop each of these four events into one of these three categories. To begin, let's make sure we understand unlikely, likely, and neither unlikely nor likely as a probability or a percent. When we talk about something being unlikely, we know that it's going to be approximately 25%, give or take. So zero is impossible. If something is zero percent, it's impossible. If it's not zero, then there is some likelihood to it occur. So we know that approximately 25 percent is unlikely. When we move to considering something likely, we're going to refer to that as approximately 75 percent, give or take. So a hundred percent is certain that it would happen. Anything other than that is going to fall in one of these categories. And then when we talk about neither unlikely nor likely, that's when it's really 50% or really close to 50%. So you have a 50-50 chance of it happening. So it doesn't fall into likely or unlikely. It's 50-50. All right, we're ready now to go back to our four statements that were given to us. So let's consider the first one. The probability of a randomly student having a pet is 80%. So here, when we talk about a student has a pet, and that's 80%, we need to drag and drop this to one of these categories. Well, 80% is the closest to 75%. So we're going to move that the student has a pet to being a likely outcome. Now let's consider the next one. The probability of a randomly selected student having short hair is 65 hundredths. When we take 65 hundredths and change it from a decimal to a percent, that is going to be 65%. So a student has short hair has a 65% chance of occurring in this class. When we consider 65%, it's the closest to 75%. So we're going to move student has a short hair to a likely occurrence. Now let's talk about the randomly selected student having no siblings is 21%. So now we know that this one is 21% and 21% is closest to this approximately 25%. So we're going to move student has no sibling to being an unlikely occurrence. And our last one is the probability of a randomly selected student having a cell phone is 5 tenths. 5 tenths written as a percent is going to be 50%. So this event is neither unlikely nor likely. So there you have it. That is how we determine probability and likelihood and likely, unlikely, and neither unlikely nor likely. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.